Hey guys, how you doing? It's Harry here again. Sunday, car boot day, a really good lot of car boots today. Got quite the haul to go through, so it's going to be a bit of a long one. We got a bit of everything really, but sadly no golf clubs, but still some really good stuff. I'll jump in and show you what I got. We'll start with the biggest stuff and then go in for the smaller stuff. We'll start off first with all these maps. These are old, I think, survey audience. What is it? Audience maps, that's what they call. Pretty much of the local area. Got this one here, really big one of Plymouth. And then we've got a load of Torbay all around where I kind of live, which is quite cool. Some nice stuff. I might try and frame a couple of these and sell them separately, some of the better looking ones. And then the others I'll probably job lot and sell separately. But for this whole lot here, I paid six pound. I think there's about 18 of these maps here. And I'll probably sell this Plymouth one separate as well. But yeah, I'd say 20 pound on the low end, 30 pound on the high end. I think if I get some frames, some of them framed, and I'd probably get 10 or a piece for them. But it'd be interesting to see what I get for these. I don't want to hold on for these for too long because they take up a lot of room. They've got to be laid flat, rarely, or rolled up nice and stored away because they're just going to get ruined otherwise. But yeah, £6, a bit of local history. I thought, yeah, I'll have that. So yeah, good little job lot there. £6. Up next, we'll go for this thing. This is quite cool. So this is a handy chiller, interesting looking thing, it's Carling branded but it's by Maytag and here's the manual, I've tried it out and it works, so basically what you do, you lift this up, you pour in a load of water and ice, you then put a can or a bottle in here, you turn it on, this thing spins and it spins your can, your bottle, whatever, and then icy cold water shoots on top and it cools your drink in relatively quick time. It's a bit of a novelty really, and it's a bit noisy. I think it's got a bit of age to it. I'll get you some, I've got a photo in here of how it looks. So yeah, like you put your can in, turn it on, it spins. You put a bottle of wine in there. So it's an interesting little thing. I paid seven pound for it. I think I'll get about 30 for this. I've seen newer models online going around about 80 pound, I think, which is quite interesting considering it's kind of a bit useless and a bit novelty. You can just put your drinks in the fridge. But still, I think because it's got the Carling logo on there, I think it will sell quite well to someone who's got like a man cave in their own bar. And I think it'll do quite well. To be honest, I think it might do 50 if I'm lucky, but we'll see. I don't want to hold on for it to I don't want to hold on to it forever because it's quite a big thing. But still, I think it was an interesting one to pick up. I might do a separate video on it to show how it works and what have you. But yeah, seven pounds, very good buy. Oh, up there. Up next, a bunch of vintage toys. I don't normally buy toys, but I think it's something I should get into because they seem to be well, they seem to sell well and they're always one of the first things to go at car boots. So here we've got a load of Men in Black 1996 toys, load of aliens, agents and stuff. I paid £10 for this whole bag. I could probably part it all out and sell it separately. But I think it's going to take too long for my liking. I'm just going to do a big job lot. I'm going to ask around 13. I'll probably accept you know, lower end 20. But yeah, a lot of them got their little accessories and stuff like that. Most of them are in pretty good order. So not too bad. I thought this one was covered in paint, but I think it's supposed to be. Yeah, good job lot. They're asking individual prices. They just looked them up online at the cheapest price and listed them at that. I reckon I can do better than that. So I'll stick it all online. It's a big job lot. Should do quite well. Men in Black's got quite a bit of following. And these seem to be in relatively good order, really. So I think they should be quite a quick sell. I'll probably just put them on an eBay auction with a starting bid of 20. And hopefully get a bit of interest that way. But yeah, nice job lot there. 
Got those there. Then what's on toys? We'll do this. Job lot of Bionicle, Lego Bionicle. I had these when I was a kid, and I think there's still quite a bit of a following for these. As I remember correctly, these were the earlier ones. And then we just got loads of parts and bits and pieces in here. Five pounds for the lot. I'll probably keep the box, and that'll come in handy for something. And then I'll just chuck everything else online. I think I'll get about £20 for this tub. So, well, not the tub, the stuff in the tub. But yeah, £20. Hopefully, it does well. Hopefully, it sells quick. But yeah, we'll see on that. So, we've got that one there. Which we go to next. Well, let's zoom in a little bit first, because that's the majority of the big stuff done. So, next up, we'll go to comic books. Just got an array of comics here. Got a Superman there, Lord of the Ultra Realms there, issue number one, Katana and Shazam, issue one, JSA, issue one, I don't know, the Ran Fanga War, issue one, and then an Aquaman, issue one. Paid £10 for the lot, so what's that, less than £2 a piece. Should be able to get about three or four pound a piece for the first editions, so not too bad a deal, really. Sadly, these aren't anything super special. Could hold on to them and see, hopefully, they go up in value, but we'll see. So, we've got those there. Up next, we'll go to cameras. Got a large lot of cameras today, so let's go through and show you what I've got. We've got a nick on there. We've got a cannon there. We've got an Olympus here. We've got a Zenit there. And then we've just got a little Fuji film there. So this one here paid four pound. Probably shouldn't have. I thought it felt a bit light when I got it. It's missing the battery, so I can't really test that. But still, I'll get my money back on that for parts on that one. Then these here, I think, I think I paid five pound for these two, a pound for this one, and four pound for this one. Uh, I don't think there's anything super, you know, rare collectible on these. I'm gonna have to list them all for spares and repairs because I'm still not that clued on, clued in on cameras, and I haven't got the stuff to test them. I haven't got any lenses at the minute or anything like that. But still, I've, as I've looked online, I think this Olympus one is the best one out the lot. I think I should be able to get between, I think I should be able to get around £20 for this one. Especially because it's been covered up, unlike the others. So, that there. These here, i say between 10 and 20 probably 10 on the low end. This one here, this old Russian one, the prices are everywhere on them. Some are like 800 some are like £5. So, it'll be interesting to see. I'm going to say about tenner for parts. But yeah, it'd be interesting to see what happens with it. I'll put this one on for an au the auction because I'm really not that sure on the price on this one. But yeah, nice little bundle. They they should all sell relatively quickly at a low price. And considering I paid a low price, what's that together? £10 for all of it. So I should easily get 40 hopefully a bit more. So yeah, definitely worth picking up old cameras. Yeah, so they were a good deal. Do, do, do what should we go for next we'll go let's go for these next just a few darts pay two pound i don't think they're anything special couldn't find their proper maker of the actual dart only the stem there but i pay two pound for these i'll hold on to them i'll put them in for a job lot when i get a few more darts so yeah not too bad there uh, the only thing I did pick up golf-wise today was this putter head cover, uh, Odyssey White Hot, Odyssey Very Good Golf Club. I paid 20p for this, I'll chuck it in with me other ones and I'm going to do a job lot and sell them online. So yeah, just add to the profit on that hopefully. Up next we'll go, we'll go for the phones next, picked up some phones this weekend. Zoom in a bit more shall we? 
talk about that. So, I've got two phones here, iPhone 6 and a Nokia. Which one do you think is worth more? It's actually this one here. This iPhone is working, but it's locked and I don't know the passcode. So, not ideal really. I should think I should get between 10 and 15, 10 or 15 for this. I'll probably just take it down to a local phone repair shop and see what they'll give me for it. Online, there's just loads of them out there, so we'll see what we can get for that. I think, worst case, I'll get a tenner. Or I might see if there's one of those, I've seen them before, the phone vending machines where you put an old phone in, it gives you a value. So yeah, be interested in on that. This one here, on the other hand, looking at it, you just think it's an old Nokia, wouldn't you? Nothing special, anything like that. Main reason I picked this up at first, I thought, no, it can't be. Slide that down. Wireless headphones. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I think it's one of my favourite buys of the day. It is working, no charger. Unlock, star. There's the product info. I looked it up the other day. Do, do, do. Got manufacturing year on there. Oh no, 2020, this phone. And it's crazy because it's not even touch screen. Yeah, it's got Facebook and the keypad's an old style keypad. So if you want to text, you've got to press the buttons multiple times to get the letter. Isn't that crazy? But yeah, we've got the earbuds built in. So I paid £2.50 for each of these phones. They didn't turn on the car boot. All they needed was charging. This one's, for some reason, the battery goes really quick. I imagine it's because it's got the built-in headphones. But yeah, this one brand new is about £75. So I think an easy £20 for this phone here. And then obviously probably a tenner for that one. From a five, that's pretty good. I'm going to try and press my luck on this one though and see if I can get a bit more. I just think it's so funky. It's, it's funky yet pointless. I, I think it's basically an MP4 player for someone who's a bit older. You've got the buttons on the side here. Volume. Yeah, such a funky little phone, I thought, for that. Isn't that cool? So yeah, those are the phones from today. All right, we'll go on to gaming next. A few bits of retro gaming, old gaming, spares and repairs, all that. Do, do, do. PS4 there and Xbox One. Uh, this is probably the best one. Four pound. Got the manual. I think that's mainly what it's worth, around about five pound. But still, always picking them up. Love the Game Boy games. Go straight into the collection. Four pound for that. I'm happy to pay. Uh, up here we've got this one here. Paid three pound for. Sim better days. It's going to go into my spares and repairs bundle pile. And should do quite well on there. It's a genuine Xbox One. So should be interesting to see what we get for that one. This here. This hard drive is actually worth the most. But we'll leave that for the minute. These are spares and repairs as well, unfortunately. But they are working. Well, they've got power to them anyway. But yeah, both spares and repairs. Both problems with the back trigger. But that's about it. So £10 paid for all this. Probably get tenner, maybe a little bit more in the controllers. This one here, though, unfortunately, got damage to the port. But this is a two terabyte one. And if you want to buy this new, you're looking about £70 or £60, £70. So I'm going to say this is worth at least a tenner. I'll probably do it all as a bundle and hopefully get between 20 and 30 So double money, hopefully a bit more. But yeah, I wasn't quite surprised when I found out this was worth that much, to be honest. They were asking a bit more for the controllers and that, and I just did a deal. I said £10 it all, and they said, yeah, go on then. So yeah, happy I picked that one up and threw, threw it in with that. So yeah, good there. Happy with that. And we'll end it with the watches. Nothing super special this week. Oh no, we have got a bit more to come actually. Sorry. We've got so much stuff everywhere. I forget what's this week and what's last week. And so we'll start off with this one. This Curin or Curin. Paid £4 for. I hadn't heard of the brand before. I 
took a chance, got the Tecchio meter, it's got a good weight to it. Unfortunately, they're only about £20 new. But still, I should be able to, what did I pay, £4? I should be able to get, you know, seven or eight at the next car boot for it. So, paid a little bit but too much, but still, it will sell. Then we've got this, is this one? No, this is a Loris one. I paid £4 for this as well. I did a job lot deal with someone. Um, but yeah, not the best watch. Again, probably if lucky a £10 watch. Be interesting to see Get for this one. This one here, uh, I can't remember. I can't remember the brand and I can't, well, the brand's there if you can read it. Uh, interesting to see. I'm going to try this one by itself because there wasn't a huge amount of them online for sale. So it'd be interesting to see. I paid £2 for this one. Spares and repairs, obviously. Uh, I took the back off and it said it was made in West Germany. So it's got a bit of age to it. I wonder if I can, yeah, I can pop it off. Is that West Germany written at the bottom there? Yeah. Yeah, so it'd be interesting to see what we can get for this one. I do like picking up an old pocket watch, stopwatch. They do, they do quite well for me, to be honest. So yeah, that one there. And this is probably the best one. It's a Citizen Eco Drive. I pick these up anytime I see them, even if they're broken, because they do really well. Uh, I'm going to say £20 minimum I'll get for this watch. And I only paid £4, so pretty good deal. Nice little watch. In good cosmetic condition, but sadly not working. But yeah, definitely the best watch of the day, that one. Uh, last but not least, we've got a little bit more. Oh, got some books here. Lord of the Rings set. Paid £3 for this. I think my last set I got 24 So hoping again I'll get that. Worst case, I'll probably take 15 Because I only paid £3 for this. Good red condition. Anything Tolkien book-wise, I pick up because it always sells. And normally at the car boot, books are cheap, dirt cheap. If you want to buy a new set of books online, you're looking at a lot of money. Second-hand books are normally pretty reasonable. So, yeah, them there. And last but not least, this Vault Tech from Fallout. A limited, yeah, limited issue. This from Fallout 4. It's just basically the special from the beginning. So, I only paid 50p for this. So, I'm not really sure what it goes for. I need to look it up. This one there, I just picked it up and haven't looked at it yet. But I'll probably keep it for the minute. I'm a bit of a fallout nerd. So, yeah, be interesting to see what we get on that. But those are today's car boot buys. Quite a lot to go through. I've got a lot of work here putting this all online for sale, taking photos, writing descriptions. It's the stuff you don't see. And it's an annoying part of it, really. It's all... I like buying. It's a bit more annoying selling it. <laughs> but, yeah, some good buys for today. Really like this phone. Cameras did quite well. Another game for the collection. Some toys as well for a change. And some other bits. But, yeah, those are today's car boot buys. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked the video, remember to leave a like. As always, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I do car boots where well, I go to them every week, Nyon, so I always got a video to upload. It's interesting to see. I've got plenty of videos on the channel as well, so go check those out as well. Thanks again for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in one of my future videos. Bye for now.